Hi there, folks. This is Chris from Air Windows, and um, you caught me in a really weird situation. You can't even see me because my whole rig for being able to demonstrate this is so bonkers, I can't even begin to tell you. It is an enormous mess, a giant kludge, but I am prepared to show you what you can probably already hear, but I can't because of my horrible monitoring situation. The, uh, here. There, so much for that. Um, introducing Air Windows firmware for the Music Thing Modular Chord Organ. Now, the reason this is all messed up is I can patch through my uh, audio, but I'm having to run the same microphone. Only way I can hear it is over speakers. It would be feeding back on me if I'm not really careful. So what I'm going to do is just kind of wing it. And that's kind of what this whole process has been like. I have done this um, firmware for chord organ. What you can see here is two chord organ modules, and these two are radio music modules that have been given the firmware, so it's effectively acting as four chord organ modules. What you see around it is uh, four outputs that are going directly into the board, and they are uh, being fed by each of these modules. That's what this funky cable is for. I'm not going through any EQs or anything like that. This is just the raw outputs of the model through some VCAs. These are WMD DVCAs, although I'm not going to be showing that off too hardcore. And what I can plug in here is the low frequency, which you can tell because one thing we can do with these is push this waveform button to get different outputs. So this would be a square wave. This is a sawtooth. And I've got a uh, thing added, added to the firmware where you can write into the little card here, the simple firmware card that programs it, a triangle, which means that rather than being a sort of octave lower pulse wave sound. That is now a triangle wave, which is better for some kinds of bass filtering, stuff like that. And what we're going to do is start bringing in some of these other chords until I can kind of hear it properly, like this one. This is this chord organ. We got our sine wave here, we got a square wave, we got a nice little sawtooth, I'll uh, extend it a little bit. And we could also bring in this one. Same kind of deal. That's more sustaining now. If I, let's see, it is turned up. So if I turn up the amplifier on this envelope generator, you'll hear this last one. And that is set to a single note at a high frequency. Now the reason it sounds the way it does is because the chord organ gives you a setting called, um, dang it, I can't remember what it's called now. Getting this going has been a complete nightmare, I tell you what. Uh, however, I made a cheat sheet, so let me load that up for myself right now. And the cheat sheet that I supply offers you several things. You can do uh, waves, which enables two extra pages of waveforms. The one I was telling you about is stack that doubles the voices in the chord, which in this case is just one voice, and it gives you a kind of chorusing effect. And that's the 
default to the chord organ, by the way, it naturally comes with that. You can do a glide effect. You can set a custom note range. There's a thing called free root that isn't working that well with my custom firmware. And then I have the triangle wave setting, which you can do. And I'll switch to that now. That is a triangle wave. And lastly, fifths. And these are all set up for the Air Windows chord organ uh, circle of fifth setting, which I am now going to demonstrate. This is what I've been working on all this time. And I should probably also take a minute and grab another visual aid. I've been showing this thing off for some time. This is the chart that inspired all of this, where we've got uh, like C major, A minor, G7, and as you go around it, you go around in a circle of fifths. So let's take this and turn these things on. We've got a bass happening, we've got a couple of chords. Here's where I show you what these do. We've got two different inputs, and these are going into a multi and then driving basically everything. Each of them has a station, well, a chord and a root. For the ones that are labeled to be radio music, it's a station and start, but it's the same thing. You can reprogram them to be each other. And if I take the pitch and start moving it around, here's what we get. settings is doing a really extreme uh, glide effect. I told you about the glide effect. And that is what's going to the um, one of my arrangements. I'm supplying all of these as uh, files that you can put onto the chord organ. There's a little thing that says chord org text that goes into each of these and with that you program it. My concept for this is that one of the inputs does the pitch offset, but rather than being chromatic, it moves in a circle of fifths. And I've, that's what I just demonstrated. In fact, I believe I can do that with... I'll make this sustain a little longer, and let's see whether I can make that sound a little bit cleaner. So the reason that matters is if you step up a half step, so again here's your circle of fifths indicator, if you step up a half step, your entire key kind of changes and all of your accidental notes, like you go into the black notes on the keyboard, everything would change very radically. If you go up a fifth, only one note out of the scale changes. Now here's the other part. Again, this is the most horrible video ever, but I don't care. This has been such a long time coming. I'm going to release it, and anybody who owns this will be able to actually use this firmware. As we did some debugging, I got together with my brother, and we did a bunch of uh, valuable work on this. The other input controls this vertical stuff. So we'll see 
that
recycling the circle of fifths related root node by threes, and we're recycling the chord position by fours. Again, it's moving around on this chart that I will try to hold up against the uh, screen. It's moving around on this chart, and anything that's closely associated that's near chords that are near each other on this chart.
the amount of motion is not very great. So basically with this stuff, what you do is you set it up so that these notes are the same. That's another high note, so let's take this and dial these down to zero all of a sudden. Now we've changed the overall pitch of the chords that we're reaching. Ready down. Thank you. 
filters that rounds off the slightly harsh tone of these a little bit. I could have it set up so that with the touring machines, you can have a sort of foot pedal. You step on the foot pedal just to randomize it for a moment. And that would make things sit in a uh, single chord progression, much like the one I've just arrived at.
about it wandering using its uh, inertia sloth and gradually going to different places on the circle of fifths. And I am using, let's see, let's turn all of these way up. The chord sequence is being fed through this, so that's slowly evolving. But we've also got this voltage coming off of the slots.
that is where I'm going to leave us. Uh, thank you for being a part of this madness. This has been the, again, I need to hold this in front of the camera, which is right up to the, the court organ. This is the upshot of the work that I've been doing with this. And, uh, in the process of doing it, So the idea here, let's give me a little bit more randomness while we're at it as long as we're playing. So the process that I, oh god, okay, that's, that's dangerous. Forgive me, this is such an uncontrolled situation. I'm just trying to get you some new stuff that's not actually a plug-in, and everything falls over and blows up. Um, but you should still have the audio from this. And basically the work that I've done here is assembling the Circle of Fifth stuff that I've been telling you about. And also a couple of little bug fixes, which while I got you, and while I'm recording this insanely long thing, um, doing my level best to make this make some kind of sense. Um, the bugs that I found were found through me and my brother Dan, who was the one that helped us get the uh, VSD plugin. So we owe him a debt of gratitude here as well. And the way that that worked was initially I was not getting the chords to change the way that I needed. I need to do it, do things like change from C major to A minor to G seventh. And as I did that using the settings, and I'm going to supply to you all of the different chord organ settings plus a little cheat sheet. So if you wanted to pick like these chords. Or these more abstract chords. Or anything like that. You can you can type them in on the little chord organ thing. I've got it worked out. The uh, way you do it is um, your basic C chord middle C or whatever it is that's considering it to be middle C is zero and then C sharp is one and so on and 12 is the octave above so I've spelled out all of these chords including the funky ones that I call ambient where they're basically just revoicings but they're all floating around the same tonal center like the the low note isn't necessarily the octave of the chord the, the fundamental note of the chord I've written all of those out already. I did the calculations for it, so all you gotta do is maybe make some choices about whether you want it to be gliding or whether you want it to be doubled and drag those onto the little SD cards that come in here and you can set your chord organ to do any of these things. I've got a bass, I've got a sub bass, which is what you're hearing now. And it's pretty simple and straightforward and there's a lot of room for fooling around and doing stuff. But the current state of the official chord organ firmware had two bugs in it. One of them was that if it was loading the first note in its little chord specification, what it would do is try to take the number that you gave, whether it was zero or one or negative two or whatever, it would try to load that, but it would try to do the calculation with the uh, square bracket included. And if you give the square bracket to the code part that turned that into an integer, the code part that turns it into an integer automatically turns into zero if it doesn't understand it. So this was very frustrating for me for quite some time. I did a lot of weird hacks to try to make it work. And then 
uh, me and my brother tinkering away at it finally figured out what was going on. And uh, that's mostly Dan. That's mostly my brother figuring that one out. But we put it into action. And if uh, Tom Whitwell would like to include any of this, I would suggest including that bug fix, if nothing else. Because without it, everything has to remain constrained to the basic chord organ behavior where, since you're specifying um, variations on a C chord, like um, major, minor, seventh, so on, all that kind of stuff, Tom's uh, data files for the little SD cards basically all started with zero anyway. So there were a couple of ones like uh, sub octaves where he could not tell that it was replacing the initial value in the, the lookup tables with zero because he was already using zero pretty much every time because all the chords were variations on the root note chord. But with the bug fix, you can spell out any chord you want, and I've demonstrated to great length um, what I would choose to do with that. But you could do anything else you wanted as well. You could do weird clusters, anything, anything like that. And if you're running the Air Windows firmware, it will play all the notes that you specify without any uh, extraneous uh, root notes that are actually zero being put in by mistake. And the other one, was on the station. It was doing a thing where if I turned this all the way up, let me do it with like this chord perhaps. Maybe I'll do it with the note. Let's make it with the note. Welcome any company in these realms because it's 
far as I know, I'm the only person doing specifically this. I have not seen anybody else combining chords in the same mode with progression around the circle of fifths with control voltages in quite this way. And I think there's a lot of potential. When I get back to doing music jams, it's going to be based on this. It's going to be based on... from what the chord root is, meaning that then you get a high note or a bass note that is in tune with the chord that you're using. Kind of like this.
I don't know if anybody else is going to be able to do this, but I'm going to do my level best to bring it to uh, Tom Whitwell's attention. And hopefully I've made some kind of contribution to the modular synthesizer scene with this very Air Windows madness. And with a bit of luck, next time I see you, I'll be doing a normal plugin and it won't be this much of a cluster <laughs> mess. So with that, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.